Houston, uh, and Quality Base here. Good evening folks, I'm Alien Addict and welcome. Um, I'm going to talk about Tom DeLong tonight because while I was in China I went live and I started talking about it but it kind of got cut off um, and I know a lot of you want to know what my thoughts are on the recent events so to go way way back to me being a teenager I was really into Blink-182, loved the band I never really realised back then that Tom DeLong was into aliens um well he is um obviously up until recent events i've realized how much he's actually into it um and a lot of you asking the question uh, after seeing uh, him on joe rogan is he for real and you know you know what i do generally call people out for bullshit or whatever um but I thought rather than just do a video on my thoughts straight away after that, um, it's a good idea to do that because it kind of goes, if I'd have done that, then the video would have loads of loads of views because it's relevant. But I like to research it first, otherwise I wouldn't be who I am. So I've watched so many videos on Tom DeLong and for late, and I do think he's for real. And a lot of you are going to be shocked when I say that. Do I think he may be being led down the garden path? Yes, I do think that. Um, and a few of you are probably saying in the comments, what about the so-called TR3B that he thought was real? I don't know if he thought it was real. I think he was using, I think he was basically saying that's how it works. And I don't know if any of you have watched the footage, but if, that was real which is not it is a cgi um ship yeah and the background to me looks like a still image and they've just played about with the zoom in and out to make it look but if this was real it would go something like this shit shit oh my god man jesus god you seen this thing you seen this thing is fucking massive. Jeez, fuck, man! Oh my god! God, man! This, Jesus! This is fucking alien! Motherfucker! I got you! I got you! I got you, goddamn you, motherfucker! I, I just, Jesus Christ, man! Fuck! Fuck! Shit! Shit on my face! God damn it! Shit! Fuck! 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 Look at you! God! It's a fucking bright, bloody marble! Fucking marble! Shit! 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 Shit on my face! Now, if you watch the original, it sounds nothing like that. But if that was me and I was filming that in real, I would be going ape shit. I would be going absolutely mad. I'd be telling everybody to come and check this out. Anyway, back to Mr. DeLong. Um, and Mr. DeLong, if you are watching this, I would love the opportunity to interview you. So yeah, I am a small channel. But you could make it big. Maybe I could come work for To The Stars. Maybe not. Um, yeah, so, he is into this and he's been into it for a long time. Um, take a look at this. This is way, way, way back uh, when he was in Blink-182. Blink uh, and you could, you'll, you could see the enthusiasm um, and the research. You, you could tell he, that he's really, really into it. Just have a, have a look. So, uh, oh shit, God, you wanna get me started on UFOs. But just that one story. <laughs> All right. Well, I have a friend that's been, uh, working to out like the secrecy of ufos for like 10 years and uh i met up with him on the east coast and i asked him what he was doing wondering if there's anything i could do to help or whatever and he he spent 10 years filming like over 500 top secret witnesses that work for the government and uh they all work for like you know 
uh, everywhere from CIA to Lockheed Martin to Boeing Corporation to uh, the Defense Intelligence Agency, the NSA and the NRO. These are all like spy agencies and stuff and all these people are talking and they're on camera because they understand that this videotape is what's going to get them to be able to testify in front of Congress. And so they're all talking about a lot of things about aliens and UFOs from people that were in charge of like our whole nuclear uh, missile inventory. They were in charge people that worked at like NORAD and all this stuff. And this one guy's talking because he, he used to work for uh, the Air Force. Uh, and they're called the Blue Berets and they work for a nuclear like cleanup task force. And so they get these pages and they'd fly all over the earth. And if there was like a nuclear warhead that's leaking or something's going wrong, they were the only ones that had top secret clearance high enough to like fix our, and contain the area where our own nuclear weapons are. Cause like no one's allowed to see them. But he was one of a few people that would get his page and they'd fly across wherever, the, you know, the continent or whatever, and they would land. And instead of there being like a, a nuclear warhead, there would be like a crashed UFO and alien bodies and stuff. And he was on this crash retrieval team and he talks about all these stories that he used to, um, get bodies and and the actual hardware and he was the one that was responsible to make sure make sure it gets shipped down to like Wright Patterson Air Force Base into to the Nevada test range where Area 51 is and stuff. And he talks of another time where he was in the Pentagon. This is the story you want to hear. Where he's at the Pentagon and uh, and his boss comes into him takes and takes him into a, a certain area where they go down these stairs to an elevator. Go down the elevator about he's probably like six or seven stories underneath the Pentagon. They got out and they walked down this big, long, white tunnel. And they walk down that. They get in this uh, little car. And the car goes, he didn't say, he said it went like really fast for like, I think 20 minutes underground. They get out and they walk through another white tunnel. And, uh, and his boss looked at him and said, uh, said something. He said something like, things aren't always like as they seem or something. It sounds like a movie. But this, this guy is like testifying on camera. And, and pushes him through these two double doors. And at that time, he's going, why is this guy fucking around? It's actually kind of probably, you know, it's making me mad. That's what I think he was thinking. But he fell this time after he kind of pushed him. And he got up, and then he saw, like, this desk. And he saw two military officers. And, and right in the middle on this desk was this little short human being looking type of thing with bigger black eyes. And he said instantly, every uh, like a little bit of emotion, fear, pain, like happiness, everything came out at the exact same time. And, uh, and I don't know. And then he woke up in his boss's office and his boss was trying to make him say, you know, say that it never happened. But uh, he did that and it's been his whole career, career working with like these beings and stuff and he's testifying on camera. Fuck, I should take you in another room and show you my little collection of UFO books and videos. The testimonies of all the people on these tapes here. And all the people on those tapes comprise like, there's 136 hours of interviews of people testifying about their jobs that dealt with aliens in the military. And my rad like books on uh, the secret architecture of our nation's capital. The whole thing's set up, it's all creepy, it's weird. I have the JFK assassination book. The CIA. And the mob killed one of the best presidents of all time. I have it in this book. It's crazy. Can you believe it? I know so. How do you evidence know? is there, dude. Give me two pieces of evidence. Two pieces of evidence? Yeah. That his brain was missing when he went to the, the hospital. And then the, the doctors weren't allowed to do any kind of like weird uh, examinations because all the generals shut him down. You know why? Because there's other bullet holes in the guy's body because there's more than one shooter. It's crazy. They talk about everything. The architects of the underworld, it's all about the monuments and pyramids on Mars and the mathematical geometrical shapes and the, all, see there's all these pyramids and stuff on Mars and they make all these weird like angles and stuff, but those angles are the key to tetrahedral physics. And once you understand the science of that, that's the secret to space travel and time travel. And what's even more interesting, the big defense contractor that does all the UFO stuff, like for the military and, and the government, is in La Jolla. And out in front of their building, they have two eight-foot-tall Egyptian statues. And one is holding a pyramid in his hand, and it says the past. 
and one's holding a pyramid in his hand and it says the future and there are big bronze statues in front of, of this company in this company I have on one of these tapes a girl testifying how they put billions of dollars or millions of dollars into UFO related programs and they create them and they're fake so when they get audited by the general accounting office of the United States government it just looks like all the money's going into fucking more helicopters but it's really going into like UFO related programs and there's Egyptians in front of the building dude holding pyramids and saying the past and the future I have people from the government talking about aliens they're fucking real you son of a bitch yeah I, I, I can tell fraudsters I, I, I don't think he is I, I do think that he's been fed some things that are not quite right but then again he may not have been so is it a bad thing to to not support him I think it is because I think this I mean I think security team deleted the video where he absolutely went on a rant about uh, the long winning UFO um, man of the year or whatever the award was but in my eyes yeah he's not hoaxed anything so um little message for Tyler there he, he's 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 kind of clean mate he's he, yeah he's he's maybe rubbing swords with the wrong people or maybe he's really I don't know maybe he's in with the right people only time while she tells was none of us really know some of the stuff that he does He's not, he's like me, he's not very knowledgeable in the kind of, the the physics behind it and blah, 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 blah. That's why he's got a team that's doing it. And I've researched some of the members of the team. And one of them I can f kind of find the other, the, the, some of the others I cannot really see much about. But maybe they do not want to be out there in person. Now, I am sure a lot of my subscribers, you... you <laughs> You may, you're gonna, probably going to disagree with this, but just just bear with me. If you, you've got to go and watch stuff from the past, and I mean, I don't mean of recent days, I mean way, way. Do your research on the band. Look into the past. He, he, if, if he'd have gone back into Blink-182, that would have been a big, 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 big moneymaker still. You know, they're an amazing band. Still are, I mean, still got the band's still still going without him, but um, it, he's done this as, as his passion. So, is he for real? Is Tom for real? Yes, he is. Tom is for real. Um, it's just, is there something hidden behind the whole thing that he doesn't know about? And, and maybe it is because it's quite easy to manipulate people. If you want to be manipulate, if you want, if you want to manipulate somebody, and I'll ask you this question: Would you have more respect for him if he was somebody you'd never heard of? So if he wasn't in a band, you'd probably have more respect for him. So I'm putting the band thing aside and just looking at it as somebody who's a big UFO alien um, enthusiast and. He, he probably, yeah, he probably knows, he probably knows some great stuff that I'd like to know. So, you know, Tom, hit me up um, on Twitter, FacyB, or YouTube, or vid me. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd love to have a shout about it, and um, I'd love to um, find out more, but I'm sure... Right, let me, let me just back up a bit. It's only a good thing. The whole thing is only a good thing because he's on about doing a lot of entertainment stuff. Now, I think the, the lack of decent stuff on TV, whether it be alien series, films, they're all bullshit. We need some great stuff. And if he can in, inspire that out, then great. I'm happy for that. I'm happy to watch some great entertainment. It doesn't just say that he's making this fucking spaceship that is that warps and what have you and these uh, satellites he's on about doing that shoot up on a laser but I, it's a bold statement to do that and it, you know if, if 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 it is bullshit 
then it will get found out to be bullshit because at some point if he's not shooting lasers up in the sky with satellites and uh, has got an aeroplane that's got a massive basketball in the middle of it people are going to be a bit pissed off me being one of them Tom so yeah get to work buddy uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing the entertainment side of it what films get done what documentaries being done um, I saw speaking of documentaries so so Stephen Greer did that documentary which didn't tell me much more than we kind of already well, well most of us know it but I suppose that's kind of like a, a newbie uh, introduction to UFOs uh, and he did pick up on Tom DeLong in the um, secure team interview with Stephen Greer where Stephen said that yeah he's been touching hands with the wrong people uh, and he's been fed bullshit the thing is though think about it the, the Tom DeLong and the Stephen Greer these two parties yeah are kind of like almost in competition in the UFO industry because let's face it, it is an industry now um, I mean I'm a millionaire off the back of my channel so thank you for that uh, how do you think Ted stays in uh, different coloured bows yeah anyway I want to know what you think of Tom DeLonge I'll probably keep touching on this now um, and I think I might do something about Stephen Greer but that's just my opinion. I'm not going to go way, way, way into this anymore because I want you to do your research on Tom DeLong. Look at the stuff that he's done. Yes, he's probably being fed from some parties. Shit, he is. But look at politicians and stuff like that. They get fed shit all the time. I get fed shit off subscribers sometimes. Some people might send me a donkey that's got an alien coming out of its backside. It's not real, you know. An alien would never fit in a donkey's bum. Anyway, good night, God bless. Mind the bugs don't bite. I'm Alien Addict. Subscribe, like, and share this shit.